Vamos, amigo, compadre. Muito bem, né? I've got wires coming out of my wires. That's all right. That means you're somebody important. Yes. So, yes. Uh, last I checked. So let's discuss. Yes. How different uh, this job is this year as a world champion general manager. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so weird to hear that. It's crazy. Um, it's not much different. You know, I still wake up in the morning and, you know, my wife tells me what to do. Go get the paper, fix the coffee, da da da, you know. Send the kids off to school. I don't get no respect, you know. So what? So it's winning championships, no big deal then. Is that what you're saying? Not at home. Not at home. <laughs> no, it's, it's, we're still punchy. You know, I mean, when you go through something like that and just the way it happened, the sudden of, uh, suddenness of it is, <laughs> is kind of the weird thing, you know, because you're, you know, you're up there in the stands and you're, you know, white knuckling it. And then pretty soon you're down there and the commissioner's giving guys a trophy and then you're in the hotel room celebrating, you know, or uh, the lobby with everyone. And it just, it really took, it took me about three or four days to process the whole thing. It was just crazy. Was it weirder because the team's older and you're, I guess, been around so long? I mean, it seemed like the celebration to me, it was almost like nobody knew how to act because yeah. you guys were just more relieved or something. I don't know. It was, the weird part about it was, I think, if, you, if you're a Maverick fan, 31 years, okay, you've gone through the ups and the downs and the, and then all of a sudden we've got, you know, we're, we're the cardiac kids. I mean, we love to live life in the fourth quarter, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's almost like, you know, when you were a kid and your dad you, lets you, let, let you, you know, get out 20 paces before he beats you to the, uh, you know, to the uh, finish line or whatever. Our, our guys just love that moment, that fourth quarter where, you know, most people, cringe and our guys embrace that stuff but you know so our fans have been through a lot you know the 31 years and then <clears throat> I've been here for 13 and it's been kind of up down and all around but in 2006 you know when you're going through that when literally you've got your arms kind of halfway around the, the trophy and it's ripped from you you don't forget those things. And then, you know, for the next five years, you know, you're getting bounced in the first round and but having really good seasons. So it was it was a hard ordeal for us and our fans. What was the draft day story now from your perspective on Dirk? Um, what was the deal with, I mean, did you get a deal from ownership that you couldn't pick him six or was it you need to get some cash and that's why the trade was made? No, it was it was literally, you know, we traded down two picks in order to pick up Stevie Nash. That right. was the whole thing. You know, when my when I got here, sat down with Dad, and the first conversation I had with him was, "There's a point guard playing behind, you know, Kevin Johnson and Jason Kidd. That's pretty good over in Phoenix. And you know, when you start your franchise, you got to have a quarterback. So uh, trading down two picks and kind of rolling the dice a little bit with Dirk." Put us in a position to get Stevie Nash, so that was that was. So a it was less about Dirk and more about. Nash. Well, we knew we were going to get Dirk. We we you know we took a little bit of a risk, but we 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 kind of knew you know with the two picks below us the way they were going to go. Um, you never you know obviously there's some risk there, but. But your dad thought about Pierce at the last second, right? Well, no, I mean you know the irony of that is that you got you know Pierce and Dirk that we had on our board in the top three picks in that draft. And then all of a sudden down at number nine, you know, you're sitting there and you're like, man, they're both still on the board. You know, it just that blew us away. Uh, it kind of made it easier to, to trigger the deal when we were trading down, because at that point- Odds of both being gone. Yeah, we knew, we pretty much knew one of them was gonna be there. Mm -hmm. And we felt real good about Dirk being there. But it was, um, it was one of those kind of magical moments when everything kind of fell into place. So where's your head at right now for, um, for this one? Well, it's, you know, it's like an exam. You know, you've, you've made all your phone calls and you've prepared and, um, you know, you've got your trigger deals on the board and, you know, a little, some bird in the hands and you just got to go through the process of, you know, once that clock starts, you know, just hoping that the right guy falls to you and you have a little luck. So it's, 
I guess I, I guess when I was asking earlier about what the GM thinking about now as a world champion, mm -hmm. just by definition, you don't have holes. The other, I mean, you still got holes, and I'm sure you're thinking about filling holes. But this is the first time that you have come from ultimate success when you're looking at your draft board and and how you're looking to to add to your team, right? I mean, how's that? Different? We're a little different, you know. We don't have like you know three mega Superman superstars, you know. We've got We've got Dirk, and you know we've done a decent job of putting the other pieces in, in 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 place. And so this is important, you know. I mean, we, you know, you hope to to get someone that can you know contribute and be a player. And you also know that the draft is you know not as strong as it usually is. Yeah. And so it's you know you're hoping that you're a little lucky, and you're hoping that you know you can get a diamond in the rough. Yeah. Go on now after all these years to oh, be able to play with the chess pieces? This is, you know, this is what we all live for when you're in management, you know, and, you know, it's like, you know, Wall Street or the furs flying and the phones and the the deals and, you know, we're, we're in our element. That's cool. So I don't think that you were going to be, uh, there's not going to be fireworks and uh, anything along those lines coming into today. We don't, we're not oh, expecting... Uh, there's always fireworks, you know. We, we disagree on players and... You know, we throw it all out there and call each other uh, crazy, but it's all in good family fun. And at the end of the day, you know, when this dust settles, you hope you make the right, right decision. All right, good luck. All right, you got it. No problemas.